Well, I think today's a good day to give just a little preview of what I'm going to be doing in a couple of weeks, uh, the start of the study of the Gospel of Mark. Um, this is the first time in our octave readings of the resurrection that we get Mark's Gospel. Uh, we've had Matthew, uh, Mark, um, I'm sorry, Matthew, Luke, and John uh, the other last seven days, I guess. Um, and as you can tell, Mark's kind of like a summary of everything we've been going through this last past week. Um, the appearance to Mary Magdalene, um, the empty tomb, even a brief line mentioned in about two who were walking, uh, who were walking and saw Jesus, an allusion to the, to the way to Emmaus. Uh, and then Jesus finally after that appearing finally to the disciples. Mark's gospel is action. It's brief, succinct, and it's focusing on the movements and actions of Jesus, which I think in return is meant for the reader to get up and move. Get up and be a Christian. You know, so the very last line of the gospel, go into the whole world and proclaim the gospel to every creature. There's Mark's command to the disciples, to the early Christians, and to the hearers and believers of this gospel. Go into the whole world and proclaim the gospel. Tell people how much the life, death, and resurrection of Jesus Christ has impacted your life. Talk about how God is there for you through your trials, through your sufferings. Give people a sense of mission and directive in their lives. The good news is, is that our, our stories can end on a very positive note. Even as we die, the story of our lives ends on something very good. That is what? Jesus is risen, and so if we die, we rise with him too. People need to hear that. As people go through day to day, and even ourselves, sometimes we need to tell ourselves that. As we go through the day to day, um, mundane task of our lives, we sometimes lose the sense of our mission and of why we're here. Not just here in this church, but just why we exist in the first place. We're here to let ultimately the glory of God shine in and through our lives, that he's very active, and we're aware of his presence in our lives every day. And he is in people who don't know him, but they don't know. Give him the direction, give him the good news. Go into the world and proclaim that gospel to every creature. May God bless you.